79 for apple juice. 379. Hello. Born Joseph Kichichu Timeglow II, also known as Baby Joe, the Juggernaut Timeglow. Um, I'm 25 years old, hold a mixed martial arts record of 11, 5, and 1, and my weight class I fight in is 145 and 135 weight class. I've been doing mixed martial arts for about six years now. I um, accomplished a lot in the mixed martial arts uh, area, uh, placed a lot of first place, second place, and third place medals in um, various parts of the world, uh, Las Vegas. Uh, California and here in Guam and the Philippines. Uh, a lot of my accomplishments in the earning gold medals and stuff was in the Philippines for the Pan Asian Grapplers place. So I pulled off a lot of um, um, gold medals there with uh, two most technical awards. I hold a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I got my purple belt from Shiruto Versaremo, uh, Renato. He's BJ Penn's trainer. I got my blue belt from Mark Lehman. Um, over at Cobra Kai Las Vegas and I got my white belt because uh, everybody gets their white belt when they first start. <laughs> I saw Baby Joe training in Hawaii on the trip that he went there one time and uh, you know he's you know he looks you know his biotype is really good for fighter you know like uh, you can tell you know and plus the training you know, once I get to roll with him I can tell that you know the potential is there I mean you know the most part, I mean, in my opinion, to, to have somebody that is, might succeed is the drive, you know? Like, you gotta be really 100% committed, and I can see that on Baby Joe, you know? I notice he's professionalist, so it's really good to have somebody you know, at that age focused and knowing what he wanted to become. Joe is just Joe, you know? <laughs> um, when he sets his mind to doing something, he's gonna do it. He was the only one that had a, a keen to Outdoor, you know, he, he liked the outdoor. He liked uh, footballs, you know, those little dinky balls back in the days where they sell. Joe, when he started football, I didn't know nothing about football during his um, middle school years. I didn't know nothing about football. I made it a point to learn, to educate myself with the game. And when I did learn the game, I never missed any of his game, never. At every game, before every game he goes to, he will look for me and kiss me. Look at the camera, say hey, what's up? Say hi, hey. yeah, say hi. of the things that Joe is doing now, the discipline, is probably from what I've taught him. Because I refused, I, well, we came from a divorced family, my kids, after divorcing their father. Um, a lot of people always say your kids will amount to nothing because you come from a divorced family. And I was out to prove myself that as a single parent, I know my kids are going to amount to something. I needed to help my kids because I, I wasn't going to lose them to influence from the outside. I wanted to make sure that life in the home, <clears throat> even if we didn't have it all, even if we were in poverty level, even if we didn't have the money, their, their um, what do you call that? Their, they need to, to appreciate the things that they have. They don't need to go out there and steal it. You know, whatever we had, if we only had <clears throat> spam to eat, then they're gonna eat spam because that's all we can afford. And, and, and that's the reason why Joe appreciates everything that he's doing now. And that's why home and family is important to Joe. You know, the rich people, of course, they, you know, the only time they'll do something stupid is just to be stupid. But, you know, they have it good for them. And, um, you know, the middle class people, you know, they're just cruising, you know. They, they can't complain, you know, because they're not poor. They, they don't got that much problems. They're not rich. They don't got that much problems to worry about. So they're just average, you know. But us, you know, poor people, man, just, dude, you know, trying to work, always work hard for that money. So I, I always grew up actually working hard 
And, you know, I mean, I didn't always look like this, you know, when I was growing up. A lot of the times, you know, this is just off of uh, hard work, you know, um, putting down, putting up the canopies, cleaning up the trash, picking up the chair, you know, folding up the chairs, just getting into all kinds of stuff just to, just to, you know, help around, you know, and that's, you know, how family is, you know. It's a lot of times I never got paid for, you know, it's just the, you know, the, 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 the Chamo culture. Can you translate that for us? Viva! <laughs> Y'all is smiling, I don't know, man. You know, every time I look at him, I, I, you know, I see somebody really peaceful, really kind of a, you know, zen, maybe, really, you know, comes here, you know, I don't know if, if he could be really pissed off or whatnot, or, you know, have a hard time, but he's always, hi, man, what's going on? Hello, what's up? So, you know, if I see him, it's, a happy, it's the happiest, you know, camper that I've ever seen, you know, in a fighting, you know, business. <laughs> I've yet to see Joe uh, really lose his temper. He's a very quiet person. He's not, Joe is not a, an outgoing person. He does what he's got to do and that's it. <laughs> you know, we're all, we all, you know, we're not all perfect. So I kind of like, you know, had my, my naughty side too. You know I mean? I'll go go at being, I'll go go at in class. And um, I was just one of those guys that will never back down, man. I'm just, you know, if you look at me, I'm looking at you, you know. If you say what's up, I say what's up. And, you know, if you want to throw it out, sh dude, I'm throwing it down with you, you know. But on that, you know, if you say sorry, I'll say sorry too, you know. So pretty much I'm just, you know, just trying to hold my own, you know, because I don't know if you want to kill me too, you know. I, mean, I, wanna, I don't want to die, so I want to fucking beat you up too. So if you want to, you know, try and kick my ass. Yeah, let's Kids, if they, you know, they find mixed martial arts as a, as an interest to them, and and they're just in school getting into trouble because of fighting, pushing, shoving, grappling. You know, there's there's places to do that. You know, there's the gyms. We got Spike 22. There's all kinds of gyms here in Guam in the world that offer that kind of training. You know, that kind of stuff. You know. And there's a time, you know, school is for school. You know, you gotta, you gotta get the education and try to make it the best of life, you know, with the, with, with the best knowledge and what you, what you can make out of yourselves. Getting into trouble is just something that, that's gonna hold you from doing what you need to do. And, you know, I, I learned a lot like that. So my piece of advice, again, you know, just stay out of trouble, please. And, you know, just do the right things, you know, help out people and uh, spread the love, you know, because, you know, that's what God, God always asks about us, you know, just love each other. Thank <laughs> you.